someone like that. I'm not really familiar with him. I hasn't, haven't seen him fight a lot. I know he's always in shape, and from what I hear from everybody, he's a fantastic fighter. Um, I haven't really prepared for this fight a lot. I only had like a day or two notice, so I'm just going to come in here, and I'm just going to do the best I can. Well, as Curtis Bush, along with his opponent, Robert Visitation, are ready, so is the capacity crowd at the special events. The feet tall and weighed in at 149 pounds. He has a contact karate record of 25 wins, four losses, and five feet nine inches tall, and he weighed in at 147 pounds. He has a contact karate record. Visitation, he has sometimes been on a roller coaster, hasn't he, John? He really has. You know, he went through some early years when he was 17, 18, 19 years old that he really didn't watch his fight selection at all. Anybody that he that wanted him to fight, he would fight him. He took some bad fights as far as his progress was concerned. Uh, you know, lost some fights that he wouldn't have lost if he'd have been a little wiser and let himself pace along. And, and But he's a guy that's beaten some awfully, awfully good people, has had some real good days. He took this fight on very short notice, and I'll tell you, this altitude is going to be a major factor. Well, they call him the explosive tin man, his opponent, Curtis Bush. He stands six feet tall, 149, and I think you can just see by his physique that he does certainly fulfill that nickname, but watch him fight. He's a young man that'll come out, and you feel he's the one that's going to push the action tonight, John. I would imagine that, that he's going to come out and go hard right from the beginning, hoping to wear Robert Visitation down by the fourth or fifth or sixth round. You will be able to see the style of both fighters, but, John, what can we expect from these two guys? What's their strengths as we get going? Robert Visitation has excellent kicking ability. He kicks well with both, both legs. He, uh, he's going to be fairly strong with his hands. He should be a little stronger in his upper body than, than uh, Bush is. But Bush is going to have a real reach advantage. That's a slip, no knockdown. You see the visitation just picked that front leg up and went right up to Bush's head. He's trying, trying to keep the pressure off with that front leg side kick on Richard. Uh, Richard uh, and Bush, Curtis Bush is coming in. Robert Visitation trying to keep him loose using the front leg. John, big advantage here, six feet against five feet nine, or is there that much advantage? I think that Visitation has good enough flexibility and his kicking ability to be able to neutralize that little bit of, of height advantage that Bush might have. You will see excellent balance, and again, there is another slip. So two slips here early in the first round of a scheduled 10 rounder. One of these fighters will walk away with a North American welterweight championship. It is a vacant title. Whoa, fighters going down, a slip, another on a trip. And a slip and a rolling block there, took him down. I think you've got 10 yards for the 15 yards. By the way, the third man in the ring tonight, Bill Miller, a very, very seasoned karate referee, and you'll see his good work tonight as well. Bill Miller from up in Minnesota, one of the top officials in the country, does a great job. Oh, visitation took a hard right hand in from, from Bush. Bush has pretty well fulfilled what you thought. He has come out very strong. You know, really, this is a fairly slow pace. I mean, it's active round, but not a real frenzied round. They have, both of them are having a hard time standing on their feet today. We talked about their balance, and they go and make us look bad by falling down a lot. Closing seconds of round number one. This is set for ten as, again, the man in the black, Curtis Bush. And Robert Visitation, and he goes down at the end of round one. And Bill Miller now is sending Bush into the neutral corner. And again, the fighter Visitation has to clearly clear the canvas. Get the standing eight count, and at the discretion of the referee, has to be fit to continue the fight. He is, and that's the end of round number one. And a good one for Curtis Bush, and it is a knockout at the end of round one of Robert Visitation. If a man is knocked down, I need a kick counter. I need a counter. Curtis Bush has visitation, both in their early 20s. 24 years old is Bush. Now let's take a look at it, John, at the end of round one here. And we're going to see right now a hard left hook right up into the ribs there that just took all the wind. There's another two in a row. Visitation just said, ah, I can't take oh. that. I'll drop down here and take a little break. I think you mentioned 6,200 feet here in Lake Tahoe, and you thought there would not be a lot of wind, and most of the wind was pumped out of visitation by those two solid left hands by Curtis Bush. Curtis Bush is a good, strong, strong inside fighter. He's better inside than visitation. Visitation really can't let him come in and do that. He's going to have to keep kicking to keep Bush out there where he can't get inside and work that body. These two fighters getting themselves in the condition and certainly in the style of the same class with a Richard Hill, the champion so far. As you take a look at your scoring for the first round. I gave a one and a half point advantage to, to Bush, 10 point, eight and a half, because of the knockdown. It would have been a 10, 10 nine round except for the knockdown. Again, through a right hand. And now 
now they're going to rule it as another one. His visitation through the right hand and really appeared almost to a slip. But Bush did get a couple of punches in, and he does go down for the second knockdown of the fight. Unless something changes pretty quick here, we're going to see a short fight. Visitation, visitation showing a lot of heart, staying right in there, throwing hard shots. The Bush is just awfully well conditioned. And again, a push. As again, the spinning kick by Visitation got him off balance. Well, Bush just winding up on that body, just really working Robert Visitation's body. John, back to my question on uh, in the class with the, with the world champion. These guys getting themselves in that situation. And Curtis Bush lost to Richard Hill and won it as a game. And Visitation really taking one hard in the stomach, and I don't know if referee Bill Miller's going to let him continue or not. He's got a six count. I don't think he'll have a choice. I don't I think, think it's going to be all over. And this one is officially a knockout. In the third round coming up. And again, the young man, Curtis Bush, comes up with a knockdown, and a visitation is unable to continue their fight. Let me check him out. He's really, really sucking the air now. Just an awful, awful hard body shot. Doctors in there, they'll take a look at him. So the second round proved to be the difference here as Curtis Bush. There was a great deal of fear that Robert Visitation, who had taken his fight on very short notice, would not be able to handle the altitude. One thing he couldn't handle tonight is a new North American welterweight champion, Curtis Bush, and he's with John Worley, along with Robert Visitation in the ring. John? Before we talk to Curtis Bush, I'd like to just, Robert, uh, what do you think about it? Was it the altitude, or was it just a short notice? What was the problem? It was a short notice, definitely. The altitude, I really can't tell the difference. You know, I just, it was a real short notice. It really hadn't worked out for this fight. I hadn't worked my stomach. And this son of a gun can drop some bombs. He's tough, very tough. He hit you with, uh, in the corner over there, two real hard left hooks. That really seemed to set the stage. That was it. I just not having the notice and all, I knew I was going to get off to a slow start. And I come out and he started punching, so I tried to start punching with him. And then, you know, it just tells, you know, who's in better shape this fight. Uh, well, again, I think you'll be back. You've been back before. You've been down before. You've been up. I hope that this doesn't set you back for too far. Thank you, John. Anyway. All right. Curtis? Uh, 